Hi, this is Tyler Muffley, one of the urogynecologists at University of Colorado, bringing you urogynecology tips from my kitchen table. Tonight, I wanted to talk to you about the two main types of urinary incontinence. First, stress urinary incontinence, and second, urgency urinary incontinence. So stress urinary incontinence is more common, and um, stress urinary incontinence is not from stress or anxiety where that causes you to leak, but it's more from um, that the stress or increased abdominal pressure on the bladder causes leakage. So if you think of this as your bladder and this as your urethra or the tube that brings urine to the outside, um, we're all born with a ligament or a backstop that lifts up on the urethra so that when you cough or laugh or sneeze you can see that there's a kink that's made there and that prevents you from leaking. And as we age and lose estrogen and have kids, um, that backstop gets broken down and there's no longer a backstop there. The urethra can just open and empty and that's called a hypermobile urethra and can cause stress urinary incontinence. Second most common type of urinary incontinence called urgency urinary incontinence. Um, this oftentimes goes by the term overactive bladder as well. And so these two types of things mean the same thing, that women are unable to defer the ability to go to the bathroom. So maybe you know where every bathroom is at the grocery store or on your way home from work. Or when you hear the sound of running water, you have to rush to the bathroom right away. Sometimes when people start to leak, this is called urgency urinary incontinence and is a major quality of life hassle. This is a very common condition. While in some women we may find that there might be an infection or uh, a brain cause of overactive bladder, in most women we find that there's an idiopathic cause or that we don't truly know the cause of overactive bladder and we need to treat the symptoms alone. Symptoms that are classically found with urgent incontinence are frequency, going to the bathroom often, many times, um, the need to rush to the bathroom and more than eight voids in a 24-hour period is considered frequency. Next is urgency, that gotta go, gotta go right now, powerful sensation that makes you rush to the bathroom and push people out of the way to get to get in. Um, and lastly, nocturia is waking up twice or more at night to go to the bathroom. So if you have urgency, frequency, or nocturia, this is urgency urinary incontinence and it is a treatable condition this is Tyler Muffley bringing you urogynecology tips from my kitchen table. Thanks so much. Good night.